Alan, how are you doing? In this short tutorial video, I'm going to be covering how to use and set up nested scenes within inside OBS. Basically, what this does is it gives you an opportunity to create almost a templated scene that you make the changes to that you can then use on a number of other scenes. This is particularly useful where you're creating things like a starting soon, a be right back, stream ended type scenes where you need a consistent look and feel. Um, but if you do make changes, you don't then have to go through every one of those scenes to start uh, updating stuff. So, let's get into it. First thing we're going to do is rename the first scene to starting. Create a new scene. Call it Be Right Back. Third scene. Ending. And finally, template scene. I generally surround these in brackets just so they stand out a little more than the normal scenes. Start to build out the template scene. So we add a media source, call it background video. Make sure that loop and close file when inactive are enabled the folder where your source assets are, load the video, put a logo in, so image, call it logo, unload image when not showing, select the image, drag it to where you want it, resize it, and for this one we'll put another image in the bottom left hand corner adverts or banners. Make sure unload is ticked. Pick up the phone. With the image where you want it. Resize. Your schedule. Search for the file. Bottom right hand corner. the template now built. Now what we need to do is add scene, select template and OK and it'll bring all the assets in in one go. You can't move them from there so it's nice and locked down. And then to make this one unique we'll add the starting soon text. for the file this one we're just going to center it using transform center to screen I'm going to go for the be right back scene same again insert the template and then get the specific text so the be right back text your loop and close when inactive selected center that one too finally stream ending scene put the template insert it there get the stream ending text Then center that too. And we're done. So we've got three scenes, all using the same template. Now, the really cool thing is if you need to make a change, so let's say that we don't like the logo there, and instead we want it in that corner. One change, all three scenes updated. Right then, hopefully you found that useful. Any questions at all, stick them in the comments. See you next time.